Hey everybody, Alonzo here with GulfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making buffalo honey garlic wings for the third time. And we're hoping that the third time's a charm because we've literally tried to film this video two other times and both times something happened. I can't remember, what happened the first time? Uh, the batteries with the GoPro, so it just- Oh yeah. And then the second time the memory card was- The battery, what happened? It kept like blacking out. Oh, okay, yeah. So the first time we did this, the battery was puffing up inside the GoPro and it was causing the GoPro to black out and we didn't realize it till we were done and I tried to edit. Well then last week we tried this again or we tried this a couple of days ago again and the GoPro just completely shut off and it saved zero footage. Like we were recording the whole time or at least we thought we were and it just saved no footage but today we tested it so we know that it's working. Let's get right into the cook. So we're gonna start with some full chicken wings today and we're gonna do all the trimming on our own. So this is pretty simple. You just wanna find right in between the bones. You can actually feel it and just cut right in between. And over here, you could feel it as well. You get your knife, go right through. That was a little bit difficult because I kind of angled wrong, but I'll show you again. So this was actually a weird one, look at that. We'll do that one last, but. So if you look right between the bones, there's a little spot right in between them that you can see and you can feel. So just take your knife, it's right there. Easy peasy. There we go. No problem at all. So I'm going to do the rest of these and then we're going to season everything up. All right, we're just gonna pat these wings dry now. Get a little of that moisture off of them. I also like to make sure I hit the cutting board as well because there's still moisture there. So you can kind of be tossing it back in there. So just something to think about. Hit the wings and the cutting board. Take off one glove. And we're gonna hit all of these with Southern Bell. Move these around a little bit, make sure you're hitting everything. See that one right there, barely got any. That one too. Just make sure you're hitting them as best you can, all sides. And that's a really nicely seasoned wing. All right, we're gonna use some B&B lump. Light this fire. Let that thing get nice and hot. So I'm gonna put this on the ground. Check this out. Get another chimney, put it on top, and this will get hotter quicker. And while we're waiting for that fire, let's get a few cloves of garlic ready. And we'll just leave this off to the side until it's time to make our sauce. What'd I tell y'all? Look at that. Shoo! That's hot. Let me fix this lighting real quick. Maybe that'll be a little better. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's get this. Like that. All right, let's go grab these wings and we're gonna put these on indirect. All 
All right, indirect on these wings. Probably gonna edit and not bore you guys with me putting all the wings on here. All right, we'll check these in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's flip these over. Looking good so far. Looking good. All right, there we go. We'll check these in another 15 or so minutes. They should be about done at that point. And while those wings are cooking outside, let's just get this sauce ready. So we'll start with about four tablespoons of unsalted butter and all of that garlic from earlier. Just gonna let this cook on a low heat. We do not want to burn the garlic or anything, but we want those flavors to come out. So let's let this melt down real quick. All right, and this has basically just been about two minutes and it's right where I want it. It smells really fragrant, really good. Let's get some Frank's Red Hot. I don't know how much we're pouring in. We're just gonna pour till it looks right. Whatever that was. And we'll mix this up. We're also gonna hit it with a little bit of Southern Hot Spitality. Let's say about a tablespoon. Mix everything up. The last and maybe the most important ingredient is gonna be this Manuka honey. We got this from Guga Foods, well, not directly. I ordered it online. We're gonna start with a heaping tablespoon and it tastes really good. It's, it's kind of like honey on steroids. So we're gonna start with this. We'll mix it in, make sure everything's melted. We'll taste it. It adds a great sweet flavor, especially with, you know, there's a lot of bitter flavors in here and not bitter in a bad way. So like the garlic is a tiny bit bitter. The sauce is got that vinegar in it and this sweet just really offsets everything. And like I said, we've made, <laughs> we've made, well, not unfortunately, but we have made these three times already. So we know how good they are. We just want to share the recipe with you guys. We're gonna go a little bit more honey here just because we tasted it and we think it needs a little bit more to offset all those other flavors like I was just talking about. Tastes really good, but trust me, this honey sets it off. If you don't have Manuka honey, that's not a big deal. Just use regular honey and it'll be delicious as well. Let's taste this one more time. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. I'm gonna put this on low. Let's go check the wings. <coughs> they look really good. Let's take some temps here. They gotta be near finished or finished. 160. Yeah. All right, so to finish these off and to get a little bit of texture on them, let's use our spinning grate. Put these right over the coals. Toss them around a little bit. Oh yeah, instantly they get going. Let me remove this too. They instantly get going, look at that. That chicken grease does some. And after tossing them back and forth for about five minutes, these bad boys are done. They look really good. They have a great looking texture on them. Let's take a quick temp. Yep, 178. I normally would want it a little bit higher than that if I'm being honest. I want it closer to 200, but that's gonna be just fine. They're going to be really good. Sauce is looking good. Let's pour it right into our wings.
this looks like we went to a wing restaurant, I'm ready to destroy these. This one right here is calling my name. Those are the best wings that we've ever made, ever. They're delicious. Please go make them now. Third time's the charm. The wings turned out amazing, just like every other time, but I'm pretty confident you guys are gonna see this video. Don't forget to get outside and cook something good this week, and as always, thanks for hanging out up close with Gulf Coast Smoke.